How are we doing folks? The old cougar here. This time we're going to talk about how to win the, the Langlades medal. Now, in a world of tank blitz, there are ribbons and medals uh, of various descriptions. But there are 14 epic me medals that you can win by completing certain tasks in game. Um, you've got your masteries, and your firsts, and your seconds, and your thirds. And then you've got your Rosinii's, your Pools, your uh, Radley Walters. We've all had them. Well, most of us have had them. But there are some medals in-game that are just that slightly little bit harder to achieve. And to be awarded for your efforts. And one of these is the Delanglades Medal. And the way you get that is you kill three enemies who are trying to capture the base in one battle. Now, they can all be in the cap at the same time, in the base, or they can be three individual moments where someone is trying to capture the base. But you must kill all three tanks to achieve the Langlades medal. Now, I'm in the Type 97 uh, Chiha, a Tier 3. Now the reason I'm doing it in Tier 3 is because once you become experienced you learn that cap and base, unless it's supremacy mode, is uh, just not the done thing to do. Uh, when you get to Tier 6 and above it's uh, a kill all scenario. Very rarely when you're in an encounter battle do you see anybody trying to cap out the base. Unless there's maybe three or four um, of your team and maybe one of theirs, so you all go to base and try and drag them in to get in to, to stop them in the counter, but uh, no, from tier 6 upwards, maybe tier 5 to a degree, but tier 6 upwards you're guaranteed that you would very rarely get the opportunity to earn the Delang leads. Now, I've got three. And uh, that should give me the Langlades medal after this. But there's one missing. There's a cruiser missing somewhere. Now, I haven't seen him and I haven't spotted him anywhere. He's not showed up on the map anywhere. So the chances are he could be AFK, but that lad over there is further on. Thanks for that. That's really helpful. I would have said noob. But uh, <laughs> because that guy that's on spawn 3 at the moment didn't spot him up, and the other lad that's now on spawn 1 didn't spot him up, uh, he's heading up towards the right hand TD corner, which mm, he might be hiding up there, but I wouldn't think so, he might, might be over here somewhere, as he went down the beach, as he went along the beach and come up the back, no idea, but I don't see him, neither does anybody else, where the hell is he, whoa, away around to our spawn, we're doing the bottom end, on the beach. Is that is a cruiser. Well, there's one in there. I won't reload before these guys get them. So, there we go. But that's the, the Langlades medal. Um, it should have been awarded because I did get three and they were in the base. Let me have a look. It's no high damage, but it is. It's tier three, remember. That's the only place you get it. And I did get the Langlades. That's what I was looking for. Now, in the game, as I've said before, destroy at least three enemy vehicles in one battle while they are capturing the base. Enemy vehicles must be within the base circle, or enemy vehicles may attempt to capture the base all at once or sequentially, i.e. one at a time. Um, it's possible, but if, you're wanting, if you don't have this medal and you're wanting to try and achieve it, try it in the lower tiers. That's the easiest place to find newer, inexperienced players in encounter battles trying to get the base. Now, as I said, there's 14 medals, as you can see here. I've got 11 of them. I'm still trying to get the Faden's medal, which is kill the last tank with the last shell that you have in your ammunition. Not an easy one to get. You can jiggly wiggle it, you can fire off your last four or five shots so that you've only got one shell left if you know the enemy tank is only one shot. If it's a one shot kill and you've got maybe four or five rounds in, fire three off, leave you the one, 
but make sure that it kills him <laughs> and you've got more <laughs> health points than what he can take off with one shot unless he's lucky and he gets an ammo rack but <laughs> pardon me if you look at the bottom two the Bruno's medal and the Tarxy's medal <coughs> they are going to be extremely difficult to get very similar to the Bellotti's medal which I have achieved I achieved that in the Dicker Max oh, years ago uh, was that game was actually featured on Martin Dogger's channel worth going to have a look at it where you have to kill two tanks when you've got less than 20% of your health life left and five major critically damaged modules that's possible getting two but with the Bruno's medal and the Tarxy's medal that's going to be a little bit more different because with the Bruno's medal you have to do three or four enemy kills while you have less than 20% of your health life left and you have five critically damaged modules the Tarxy's medal you have to have five kills with 20% of your health life left and five critically damaged modules now as I've showed here to kill three tanks never mind five especially with only 20% 20 20 of your health points left you have to have five critically damaged modules which means your tracks, your turret, your gun, your engine your fuel tank or maybe a driver or a gunner or whatever right now to kill three tanks the repair if you're up in that level you've got your crew skills up to a certain degree if you've got them all at level seven then pfft, your repair is going to happen a lot lot quicker so it's going to repair the modules so therefore they're no longer critical so unless you can get three shots off bang 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 if you're in a clipper or an auto loader and you can get three shots off to three one shot targets while your repairs are still in process then you might get the Bruno's medal but to get the Tarxy's medal that's going to be a little bit more difficult if you think about it it's virtually impossible because to kill five tanks they would all have to be sitting in front of you be one shots and you have five rounds very fast loading before your repairs kicked in and before you got hit with only 20% of your health points left so again in the Bruno's medal and the Tarxy's medal nah those are for really lucky players or whatever but that's the epic medals and that battle was earning the Didlang Leeds medal your pools medal kill six your RAS, everybody knows the RAS, you've got to kill all seven. Pools medal, kill six. Radley Walters, kill five. The Klobinov, kill three alone when you're the only man standing against them all, but you've got to win the battle. The Oskins, the Holonans, the Holonans, you kill three tanks with a tank destroyer in one battle. Uh, the Oskins, the Lavaslios, the Nichols medal, and the Orlix medal. <coughs> That's killing three or four uh, tanks with a medium tank. Um, and they've got to be a tier higher but as for the Faden's medal one shot last shot of your your ammunition to kill the last man do it when he's a l less than a one shot off you but um, yeah it, well worth trying and uh, best of luck with them folks <laughs>